Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. As always said, we will come back with another interesting topic. So here is today's interesting topic. All time favorite topic of every PLC learning beginner students that is elevator control system using PLC. So here uh, with whatever items available in the factory IO, I tried to create three floor with ground floor means total four floor system in the factory IO. You can see this is our ground floor. Let us say now exactly there is no proper place for a main or box to come from here. But just to explain you the logic I have created here. This is first floor. This is second floor and this is third floor. And now I cannot say that this project is completely applicable to the logic I have written is completely applicable to real life project. Uh, no, but I have tried to make something near or close to the real life project. So here I will show you the working of my project. So first of all, the lift is on ground floor. Let us say someone pressed third floor button. So lift will go to third floor. Okay. I have to push start from here to system on. Now someone entered from third floor and pressed the ground floor button. So lift will go to ground floor. But meanwhile, someone also pressed from second floor and from first floor also. Okay, like this. So in this scenario, what will happen? So it will go to respective floors also. Okay, now from the second floor, it will go to first floor. So let me try some different scenario. Someone entered off from here. He is going to third floor and also press the second floor and the ground floor. So now it will go to second floor and then it will go to ground floor also. You can see it is going. Okay. So in this way, I try to think about the different scenarios. I think almost it is working. So I try to make as much as possible to create real life scenarios with this project. Okay, if someone calls on the second floor, it will go to second floor. Meanwhile, someone press this and this also. So it will go to that floors also. You can see with some time delay so that person can come in and from inside panel also if someone pressed different buttons like this then it will go to that floors also. So now it will go to ground floor and again to the third floor because I pressed like that. So now it will go to third floor. And if someone presses the stop button, complete system will be stopped. Okay. But now to resume this from beginning, I have to restart this. Okay. First, I have to press the start button. So friends, now there are the two things. First, we need to understand the things used in the factory IO, how I arranged everything. And another is the logic part. So this video will become lengthier. I will split this video in two parts. In this first part, I will show you everything related to factory IO designing. And in the next part, I will show you its ladder programming step by step. So let us focus on this factory IO. First of all, we need to understand working of this elevator. So what I will do, I will get one elevator from here. Uh, you can directly find from stations like this and in all also we will find. So here you can see elevator. I will put it over here. So right now there are mainly five outputs and two inputs but I have only used these three outputs only. Here you can see there is one loader. Actually in the factory IO it is used to load box and lift to some floors. 
but I have just used these three outputs. Okay, so when I press up, lift is moving up. When I press down, lift will go down. Because the speed is high, sensors may not get sense. So along with moving up direction, I also use slow, so it will move slowly. So if the movement is slow, our sensors can detect it easily. Similarly, if I down and press slow, it will move in slow, okay? If I don't turn it on and make it off, it will move rapidly. So these three outputs I have used in the project. So let us delete this now. Now for every floor, I have taken capacitive sensors. So we will see that. Now because this is the ground floor, it will require only two sensors. Now how I will sense it? So in the lift, you can see this plate, okay? So when the lift is coming from upward, okay? Say for example, now lift is going upwards and also slow. Now I will slowly move it downwards. So when this lift is coming from above, as soon as this sensor is detected, it will slow our lift. Okay, right now I have done it forcefully, but the working of this sensor, when the sensor is sensed, it will turn on slow output. So from there, lift will be slow. And finally, when this both sensors will be sensed, the lift will stop. So this is how I arranged these sensors. So what is happening? If lift is coming from above and as soon as this sensor is sensed, I will turn on slow output so lift will move slowly and when finally both these sensors get on, I will reset all my outputs of lift down. Same for the first floor. Now here I have to use three sensors because lift may come from downward position and lift may also come from upward positions. So if the lift is coming from downward and as this sensor is sensed, I will turn on slow output like this and finally when the this both will get on, I will stop my outputs. Similarly, if lift is coming from above, so first this sensor will sense and it will make the lift slow and finally when both of these sensors will be sensed, it will stop our lift. Same for the second floor. So the middle one is our actual sensor which tells us that at which floor the lift is. And these two sensors are for slowing the lift. If lift is coming from downward direction, this sensor will slow. If lift is coming from above, this sensor will be detect and slow the output elevator. Now again, in the third floor only two sensors because always the lift will come from downward direction only. So only this sensor to slow and when this sensor is detected, it will stop the lift. So let me release all this. So this is all about the sensors, third floor, second floor, first floor and ground floor sensors. The setting is little bit, you have to work on it manually. Like you have to take your lift manually to the station you want. So let me show you. So what I did first, I put this over here. How I got this? Uh, that also let me show you. So this is I set up over here. Then what I did, I manually put my lift over here. Then I stopped my output like this. I manually brought my lift over here, and then I placed my sensors to this particular position. How I can place my sensors over here? So that also I will show you. You can go to sensors and because I selected this one, now its direction is same. If direction is not same, you can rotate it by pressing Y on the keypad. Then press V from the keypad and move in vertical direction like this and then drag it. Okay, then drag it into horizontal direction. Okay here horizontal trans so i can keep it like this so in this way i place my sensors okay right now i am deleting this 
so in this way you can place all of the sensors now talking about these things all this stuff how i got this okay so what i have done over here i have taken this smaller one and i copy pasted this shape like this what now i will select to and copy paste this to make it like this in this way i have created this shape okay once you make your shape you have to select this and right click and make it group so it will become combined shape okay so in this way i created this then i copy pasted it everywhere now talking about this one so here we can see i can combine two of this and make shape like this so this is how i brought this and the operator panel this is how you can horizontal press v to move in vertical direction so in this way i kept this and finally all button so you can press it like this and move in vertical direction like this so this is how i brought all buttons and then i renamed it as get lift zero how i can do this so click over here and you can rename from here if you don't see this go to views and you have to enable this sensor tags and actuator tags so same thing i have done for floor one for the second floor and the third floor and finally the only thing remaining is this panel so here also i got this pole then operator panel over here press v to move in vertical direction like this i kept my operator panel and all the buttons that i show you already so we can change our perspective again press v to move in vertical direction and i place the button on the panel and then i renamed it so in this way i created everything for here and i have taken four buttons for ground floor first floor second floor and third floor and two buttons for start and stop the system here i have to release if you don't release this simulation will not work so i hope you got everything that how i get all this stuff now what is the second part i brought all this stuff renamed it tags so now i will go to drivers and i will connect my input outputs if you don't have sufficient number of input outputs uh, you can go to configuration and here you can select how much input outputs you require and as discussed in the previous videos i have facing problem in capacitive sensor so i have suggested you to offset the inputs so here i am starting my inputs with address 5.0 so here i have written 5 over here because in the previous videos our sensors were malfunctioning so the solution was to change the address which is not the physical address of the plc this you can see these are the all push buttons okay now let me show you this green one you can see at every floor this are that all push buttons for lift this is the stop button and the start button over here now these are the operator panel buttons ground floor first floor second third floor and start stop we already covered so these are also push buttons and from here the sensors capacitive sensors ground floor sensor in this way i have connected sensor of all the floors and the same address and the same comment i have written in my plc text of pia portal and only three outputs we are going to use is elevator up elevator down and elevator slow how you can connect this simply drag and drop and place and it will be connected so this thing i have set up and already then you have to create program in the factory io download in plc sim then click run button in plc sim and connect over here and we can do the simulation but these things we will see in the next part of this video i hope everything related to this project that we have to do in factory io you have understood it properly in the next part of this video i will show you its ladder programming and step by step simulation so in the next video we will see its ladder programming and its simulation